minute for listening part for exercise free. You are a part of a radio interview with Sonny Evans. Analysis to his work first became popular on the internet. For questions 1 to 7, choose the best answer A, B or C. You now have one minute to look at part 4. My guest today is artist Sonia Evans, who is drawing super popular internet and elsewhere. Tell me, Sonia, have you always been keen on drawing? Yes, but as a child, I didn't see it as just the first step in creating color paintings, which were my main interest then. When I grew up, I realized that I didn't really have an art for color, and although I would culture, I worked on sculptures for a while. I eventually went back to doing pictures, but this time just with pencil, and that's what I've been doing ever since. So when did you first display any of your work? Quite some time ago, at the art gallery in my hometown, I was really exciting when they agreed to show some of my drawings. There were things that didn't last when I realized this so-called exhibition was taking place in a tiny place outside the main building. Of course, it was never my aim to sell any of them, but it would be nice if more than a handful of visitors to the gallery is to realize that we were there. The fact that the art critic in the local paper was quite impressed didn't help much, as he didn't write about the main day after the exhibition had ended. That must have been quite alarming. Yes, it was. I didn't bother trying to have anything else on there after that. And what made you decide to put your work online? A photographer friend of mine had the idea first, though he never actually got around to doing it. And as the only world was to know picture and trying to get noticed there, something that didn't appeal to me at all. I thought that going online is the best thing to do. And how do you actually go about it? made a short video of myself drawing. Of course, there were really lots like that on YouTube, but too many to count in fact. But mine was unique in time and I left the drawing unfinished. So all the others were often by people who could handle the video camera better than me and probably had just as much artistic ability too. It was mine that made you want to come back three days later to find out what the subject actually was. And that created lots of interest to it. Well, yes, probably because I'm quite good at disguising what I'm drawing. Anyway, a astonishing number of people viewed the second video. There were literally tens of thousands of hits from all over the world. And the strange thing was that I shouldn't have been delighted by figures like theirs. I just believed that the last of my work was out there. Instead, I had the uneasy sensation that it was too many hits. How long did that ceiling last? I got over it quickly enough once I'd done a few more videos. In fact, I started to go into the opposite extreme. How do you mean? When I realized how well they were doing, I started to become a bit too obsessed with the number of hits they're getting. Logging on to check them, doesn't today I'm getting really stressed with this slow down a little. I found myself staying up later and later to keep an eye on them, because of course many of the hits were from different time zones, and get up earlier and earlier the next day. So it's really hard to stay awake in the daytime. To the point where I didn't have enough time to do my work from me. Not so good, no. And it got even worse when I started reading reviews and my videos on the websites that specialize in criticizing online videos. Oh, they were bad, were they? Some of them, yes. There were attacks on the quality of my work and some quite personal stuff too. What is your reaction? Well, fortunately, I'm some of the first depression or anything like that, but I decided to keep well away from those sites. 
it just made me feel angry. I want to write back to the people who wrote these things. But of course, I didn't. In our days, I never even think about them, especially since my work starts to appear in other media. Yes, I'm sure quite a few of our listeners will recognize your name from magazines and now from radio too. Thank you, Soma. Thank you.